I like to share from the life of Jephthah. It is in Judges chapter 11. The meaning of Jephthah is he opens. Why I tell the meaning of his name is that in all his life we see that he lives according to his name and God does according to his name. Jephthah was a son of Gilead and then when Gilead has wife in verse 2 well, I'll just read it out and Gilead's wife bear him sons and his wife's sons grew up and they trust out Jephthah and said unto him thou shalt not inherit in our father's house for thou art the son of a strange woman. Yes, Jephthah was son of Gilead, but she, he was the son of an harlot. That is why Gilead's wife and his son, they rejected him and then they have driven him out because they don't want to share anything, inheritance or anything with him. They say, you are a son of a strange woman, you don't have anything to do with us. So he was sent out. We know Israel, they used to commit the mistake again and again, same mistake again and again. Here also, 18 years, they have been oppressed by the Ammonites. And they cross to fight, even to Judah. During this time, they don't have anybody to lead them. They don't have anybody to fight for them. 18 years oppressed by the monarchs. And in this, they repented their pride. But one thing, the elders of Gilead, they saw a person who can deliver them. It was none other than Jephthah, whom they have driven out from their place. So Jephthah was an illegitimate child. And then he was rejected, he was driven out. But God did not reject him. Friends, there may be at times when we find ourselves that we are rejected, we have been tormented, we have been misunderstood by many people around us. But remember, though we are all alone, God never rejects us, He's still with us, He follows us, He still make us what we ought to be. There are so many injustices here as well. Life is so full of injustice. You do good things, people reward with evil things. People do evil things, they are rewarded with good things. This is what's happening to us, especially to our believers. We are being persecuted, we are being oppressed, we have been so many people misunderstood us. So in all the things, even though we have been rejected, even though we have been oppressed or ostracized, still God is with us. And what God did, God opened the eyes of these elders. He opens and they could see the quality in Jephthah. They know only Jephthah can lead them out and find them and deliver them. So they went to Jephthah. Even Jesus was not fair when he was doing good things. When he healed a man, either they criticize or they accuse him. So life is that. But when God is with us, there's nothing that can form. There's no weapon that can form against us. We are more than conqueror. And then we are, it's a very marvelous thing to look at his faith, Jephthah's faith. In verse 9, just let me read up. And Jephthah said unto elders of Gilead, If ye bring me home to fight against the children of Ammon, and the Lord deliver them before me, shall I be your head? And Jephthah said, If the Lord deliver us from the hands of Ammonite, will you make me leader? He never said that. If God deliver Ammonites like using me or if I deliver you from the hands of Ammonites, will you make me leader? He never says that. He says, if Lord 
delivers or if God give us this victory, he knows that the battle belongs to God. He is so humble that he understands that he, all his faith is in God only. He doesn't have any other, like it's not about his skill or it's not about his talent, it's not about your warfare ability that God is, uh, that he is going to win the war. What he knows is that only one thing that he knows is that it is God who is going to deliver him, not by any others. So that is the faith. Faith is when we fight a battle, life is a battle. When we fight a battle, we know that it is God who is going to fight for us. We are just obeying His voice and we are doing it. We are performing it. So when we remember that, that faith, when we have put our faith, like Jephthah put his faith in God, then we win some battle. And very fantastic thing about that I see in him is that he was driven out rejected by his own brothers and sister and by his own people, Gileadites. When he was rejected, he was alone. You know, they can cast him out. They can ostracize him. They can do so many things, but they can never change his faith. They cannot drive out this faith which is in him. Faith is such a thing that It should not be determined or controlled by the circumstances that are around us. Faith is a something that we do with wherever we are, wherever I am, or wherever, whatever place I am living in, or whatever the situation we may be in, whether I am poor or whether I am rich, whether I am sick or whether I am well and healthy. The faith should be saved. That's what Paul also says that I know how to be abased and how to abound. That means there's no conditions. It is his faith is not conditional. His faith is always the same, whether he have or whether he had not. It's always the same. So faith should be like that. Faith, it, our faith should not be determined or controlled by the circumstances and situation that prevails around us or by the geographical area or where where I am or where I live wherever I go that I have to be I have faith I have to be able, you know have lots of faith in God like those three Hebrews along with Daniel they are in a foreign land in Babylon and they cannot change their faith that is the marvelous faith like Jephthah his faith was not changed though he was alone and he was in a strange place and one good thing about Jephthah is that he was a leader. In verse 3 we see, And Jephthah fled from his brethren and dwelt in the land of Tob. And there were gathered van men to Jephthah and went out with him. In King James it says that the adventurers, he went to the Tob and the adventurers, they followed him. That means he was a leader and they followed him. How to be a leader? Leader is a man who... Follow the voice of God. There are many voices around us everywhere. So many voices are there, friend voices, maybe there are world voices, maybe there are so many voices are there, but we don't listen to those voices, but we listen to the voice of God. When we live according to the scripture that is here, when we try to live and when we try to live like Jesus Christ, naturally we are a leader. We know how to lead ourselves. The first thing to be a leader is we need to lead ourselves first lead oneself and then that's a good leader when we know how to lead ourselves through the scriptures to the word of God then we are a born leader then when people looked at it they will see that oh this man he believe in God this man we can trust him we have confidence in this man and that's why they come that's what happened in Jephthah's life. They saw, the elders saw that Jephthah is a leader. Only he can lead us, he can deliver us, God can use him because he lead according to the scripture. So they came to him and they asked him to be the leader. And that is how they were delivered. He have immense knowledge about historical facts also. 
and he know what God's will and he know God God's plans are and that is what we see that he become a good leader and God used him to deliver the Israelite from the hands of Ammonites and the last thing he is sacrificed he vowed a vow and that vow I take it as a very beautiful a sacrificial vow when he came back home the first thing that he made was his daughter the only daughter and he gave it to God the daughter became a living sacrifice he did not marry at all and Jephthah did not have any generation left that is the sacrifice that he made we believers we are called to sacrifice in Romans Chapter twelve, God says we should be a living sacrifice. That means our lives should be given to God. Everything, our possessions should be given to God. Our property is all for God to use it for His kingdom. That's what Jetha did. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening. That the Jetha's faith be also upon us. God bless you all.